Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the next lesson in our modern C++ series. In today's lesson, we're going to continue looking at the standard template library and the algorithms. And we're going to finish off our set operations for now at least. And let's go ahead and take a look at what remains, which is going to be set difference and set symmetric difference. All right, so let's go ahead into the algorithms library and then I'll go ahead and explain these briefly and why we might want to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll us all the way down here to our operations that work again on sorted ranges. Again, super important that these are actually sorted. And we're going to be looking at set difference and set symmetric difference. And previously, we've looked at includes, set union, and set intersection. And later on, we'll probably have to revisit the ranges versions of these. Uh, but I think you'll understand the main idea. But if you're on C20, go ahead and feel free to experiment with those. We've got ranges versions. Now, first and foremost, what is set difference and set symmetric difference? So if you need a little refresher, you can go ahead and look at some uh, Venn diagrams. But basically, it's saying the set difference A minus B is if I have an A. For example, let's go ahead and label something uh, like in a container. Let's say it's a vector one, two, and three. That's going to be A. And if I have any, another vector uh, one here, the difference A minus B is going to be two, three. Okay, so it is effectively like finding the elements that match and getting rid of it. We'll do a few experiments to see if there's some repeats, what happens there. Okay, so this is going to be our set difference here. Now, there's another function uh, that we're also going to look at, which is the symmetric difference here, which is basically to say anything that's not in the intersection. OK, so let's go ahead and look at the same example. So if I do the symmetric difference here of a minus b, uh, and let's see if there's a better symbol than minus here um, for the symmetric difference. I think it's, yeah, minus with the, uh, let's go ahead and click on this uh, symbol here. Uh, yeah, it's the like. Uh, I don't know exactly what to call that sign here, but it's the something like that here. Uh, <laughs> that's going to give us uh, what is not in the intersection here. OK, so my example here, um, this is actually going to give us the same thing here because <laughs> we're getting rid of the intersection. So we are going to get uh, two and three here. So maybe we'll cook up a few different examples here. Uh, let's just go ahead and say if we have an A, let's do another round of examples here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five here. And then in B, let's go ahead and say we have six and seven. Well, if I take A minus B here, in this example, I should get, uh, and let's go ahead and label A minus B equals one, two, three, four, five, right? I'm getting rid of all the things from B that aren't in A here. If I take the symmetric difference here of A and B, of this same set here. So let's go ahead and label A equals one, two, three, four, five. B equals six and seven. I'm getting all the things that are not in the intersection here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, which happens to be the union in, in this particular case here. Uh, but that's just in this particular case here. So I shouldn't uh, use those terms. Uh, again, it's just taking everything that's not intersecting here. OK, so let's go ahead and try with those examples here. We'll go ahead and look at CPP reference uh, first. Let's look at set difference and I'll open up set symmetric difference. And they're going to look pretty much exactly the same here. We'll look at the C++ 20 version here. And again, taking in a range here for our first collection, a range for our second with two iterators, and then an output. OK, and that's the idea. And if we want a custom comparator, we can go ahead and do that. You can watch my video on includes on this playlist, um, which shows how to do that if you have any questions, OK? Uh, which is probably two lessons back, depending on when you're watching this or if I insert something else in the middle. Uh, but you can search for includes. Um, already, um, and as far as the complexity goes for these, this should be a linear time complexity because we've got to look at everything, uh, same as all of our other, um, you know, set operations on ordered containers. Again, it's, it is important that these are uh, ordered here. Okay, let's see here. All right, let's go ahead and do a few examples. I think this one will just uh, play around with set difference. Uh, let's go ahead and play around with it with the examples given here. Uh, we'll use a vector, and I like to write out to a list here. Maybe we could do a forward list or something, because uh, we could prepend it. Uh, maybe that's the right thing to do here. Uh, but let's just go ahead and create vector A uh, with 1, 2, and 3. Uh, we'll create uh, vector B. Uh, and I'm going to label these A1 and B1 here with 1. And let's go ahead and do our uh, set difference here. A1, beginning. A1 at the end, 
And we're just going to look through the entire range here. Okay. Uh, now, of course, you could specify if you want uh, something uh, else here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a list. I'll specify the type here. Uh, output one. And we'll do a back inserter uh, for output one. Uh, and let's go ahead and terminate that here. Make sure we get our curly braces in order. Uh, and let's go ahead and write a little uh, function here. I think this will be useful here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and say print list. And we'll take in a standard list. Uh, pass it in my reference cons because we don't want to uh, change it. It's called L for brevity. And then for each of the elements in our list, we'll go ahead and just write these out. Okay, each of our elements uh, with a comma in between and then a end line here. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's go ahead and see what our first result is. If we go ahead and print out this list here of output one, make sure that we are compiling and running things properly. Two, three. Okay, so my math is uh, correct here. Now let's go ahead and try this example. Let's give ourselves a output uh, two here with a symmetric difference. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I'll write this out as a separate example. I think we're going to get the same thing here. So standard. Uh, oops. Uh, and again, uh, the nice thing is all I have to do here is print out this list output uh, two. And, uh, you know, it's always nice motivation to see as we've been going through this series, the STL. Uh, right, I just have to change a few things here. Some function names. If I want to change the entire behavior set, symmetric. Uh, and I believe there's an underscore here. Set symmetric difference. Uh, yes. Okay, so we just have to remember that. Let's bring up our little diagram here. Run it. And we get the same thing here. Okay. Um, so let's try with one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven. Again, just so you can see the difference, maybe some use cases uh, of these here. So I'll set up another experiment here. And actually, I'm just going to copy basically this whole thing. Let's paste it in here. And using just a little bit of uh, Vim magic here, I think we could just get away with substituting all of our ones for uh, threes for now. Uh, and our twos for fours. Let's see if that works here. And then let's go ahead and change our values here. One, two, three, four, five. This will be six and seven. Okay, and uh, oh, not quite what we want here. I'll put three, I'll put four. Okay, but I think uh, that did the trick here almost. Maybe a little bit too many shortcuts. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that did the trick here. So again, set difference here of one, two, three, four, five, and six and seven. So a3 minus b3 effectively here is just, well, there was nothing to take out of set uh, th this sequence here, I should say, um, a3 here. Uh, now from b3, um, or, or in the symmetric difference, right, uh, what things weren't part of the intersection? Well, nothing intersected here, okay? So, we, um, you know, a4 is just printing out effectively uh, everything here. Now, the one thing that we haven't tried, uh, and again, paying careful attention, I'll keep reminding you, these have to be ordered. Uh, that is part of using these ones is let's go ahead and try another experiment here where we have some duplicates, okay? Uh, at this point, you know, let's break our code up just a little bit here. Let's do that same example here and just think about it. So these are good operations for us to be thinking about here. Uh, but let's just go ahead and substitute three with five here. And then we'll substitute uh, fives with sixes uh here uh, oops let's see if that did the trick here oh wait, that should have been forced okay anyways uh e5 b5 i guess i incremented those too much but it doesn't matter <laughs> i just want to make sure i'm working with the same ranges here uh and output number five and output number six here okay and let's put in some duplicates here uh, like fives, and we'll put in just one five here, okay? Because uh, we did these in the, the previous examples. 
Um, so if I run this um, and I'm looking at these bottom two, the difference, set difference between A5 and B5, again, I'm taking out, uh, let's see, one, two, four, five, 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 five. Uh, I've got these three fives here. So, uh, oops, actually there is a mistake here. Uh, this should be a three, there we go. Make sure our other sequences were sorted. Yes, they were, okay. Now let's try to run this again because that was looking a little bit funky to me. Uh, the results. Okay, that's better here. Now we can actually see one, two, three, four, and then I've got four fives here, but I've got to take one out when I do this first set difference here, right? So we just see that there's three here. Okay, now let's see what the set uh, symmetric difference is. Uh, so again, this is going to be, you know, one, two, three, four uh, doesn't intersect with, you know, five, six, and seven, but one of these fives does intersect here. Okay, so again, that's why you're only seeing three of the fives here. So we're, you know, erasing this one. Um, uh, and this one from a5 and b5 and then just six and seven here okay so try that out try drawing it see if that makes sense hopefully these operations make sense they're useful again if you're working with sequences um you know maybe there's even some interesting application where you're processing a bunch of like button presses or something and want to sort of queue those up and maybe do a set um difference or something of some uh, and, and you would sort of order these things uh, again maybe by the button press or something to process them in a game you know that that could be an application again if it made sense to have those in sort of an ordered uh series or something um and i guess i'm thinking of most use cases as either filtering data maybe something where you have ordered um containers and some sort of game data structure uh where you might want to take differences between like a user's input and an expected input, you know, if they're coming in some sort of order and then comparing them. Like again, if you are in a game, like checking if a player pressed, you know, up, down, left, right, you know, A, B, et cetera, X, Y, you could do a set difference or a set symmetric difference. If you're saying, hey, don't press any of those keys, and then you wanted to score a player or have them perform some sort of um, move or something in a game. Again, those are just some ways you might think of using these things. Of course, there's mathematical things um, in various 3D tools where you use these sort of Boolean operations. Um, again, just kind of depends on what you want to do and if it matters, if the data is ordered. Uh, if it's ordered in this case, then again, that's uh, kind of where you'd want to make use of these functions. Alrighty, so anyways, folks, with that said, thanks for your time and attention. As always, you can find these lessons and more on my website here, specifically on the courses.mshot.io playlist here. Uh, it's free for the C++ one. I've got other courses here if you want to check them out here. So feel free to uh, take a look at those. And if you got other interesting use cases of how you use these particular set functions, I'd be curious to hear about them. Or if you have other questions about uh, set difference and symmetric difference, uh, let me know. I'll look forward to your comments in the discussions below. All right, folks, thanks as always again for your time and attention, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.